we have Isaac Watson coming out, representing Legion's gym, looking very focused and ready, taking on Harry Smith in the 57 kilogram N class division. So N class, uh, it's a starting point for most fighters. It's five one and a half minute rounds with no knees or elbows to the head, and both fighters wear shin pads. You'll see Mr. Isaac Watson wearing shin pads, and he's a uh, he's having a bit of a this is a tough battle. He's going to be up against Mr. Harry Smith, who had a draw with a very talented uh, Aiden Banks. And uh, will he be able to take out the more experienced fighter? We have Harry Smith coming out representing fourth dimension MMA. They're not enough for three dimensions, four dimensions. And incredibly, incredibly talented. One and a half minute rounds. Here we go, we have uh, Harry Smith in the red and black. Isaac Watson in the kind of silvery gray and black. In those last important notes from the corner man. Here we go, first night of the evening here at KSAR Fight Night. Good. Both fighters landing some pretty big shots early on. Very aggressive, very early. Oh, good punches. Land by Harry Smith. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, nice switch left kick by Watson. Nice knee by Watson. Another beautiful knee by Watson. Good right hand. Oh, the timing on the Harry Smith's kick there was beautiful. Saw the legs buckle just for a moment of Watson. Oh, lovely kick again. Oh, beautiful teep. And the catch and counter as well. There was very, um, some really good moments there. It felt like at the start of the, of the round, uh, Harry Smith was a little bit tentative, you know, just getting his bearings. And then the last 30 seconds, that's landed a beautiful leg kick. And then another beautiful leg kick. And then the kick, Caught the kick, countered underneath. Fantastic work. Just seemed to be settling into the round, just becoming that little bit more comfortable as he w as he went further along. Now this is where it gets interesting. They've, both corners have had a that 90 second look at their opposition. What are they doing? What combinations are they throwing? What adjustments can we make? And also, you know, those instructions are their fighters pacing themselves correctly? Are they coming out too strong? They've been too tentative. And these little adjustments can make such a difference, especially when you have two fighters. It's closely contested as Harry Smith and Isaac Watson. Oh, lovely knee. Oh. Kick got a little bit low prior to that. 
Isaac Watson had a lovely knee and left kick. Oh, bit of a stumble. Isaac Watson, beautiful right low kick, nice tee up the middle with a nice punch behind it, switched and starts as he came forward. The question is also, you know, what are the judges looking for? They tend to, we saw from the last K-Star fight night, which had the same judges, they're really prioritizing, showing a good variety of techniques and trips like that, they stand big in the judges' eyes as well. And it's slightly different, often with MMA we see you know, they just want to know who's doing the most damage. But in Thai boxing, they really want to see you're showing the variety of Thai boxing techniques. You know, maybe you're a great boxer and you can come in and just use your hands. If the other guy's using the clinch and the knees and showing variety, even if the boxer has done more damage, often the judging will go the other way because they're looking for that variety of technique. Now, this is anyone's fight at the moment. That was an incredibly close round. I mean, the trip may have just taken it but it's hard to say it is one of those things of what are the judges looking for remember if you're enjoying this k-star fight night harry smith versus isaac watson let us know at k-star fight night on all social media platforms you can hashtag k-star fight night as well and also drop me a message Best way is uh, Instagram at Chris Fensom, F E N S O M B J J. Let me know what you think. If you think I've got it right or wrong, I will try and let you know when I, if I feel one fighter is winning or losing. I'm not one of those sit on the fence kind of jerk referees, commentators. Ah, oh, beautiful catch. Looking for the trip, didn't get it. That knee for Isaac Watson has been such a weapon. Dumped him down. Oh, the tee put so much through it. Kick through. Awkward stumble, though. Oh, lovely combination. One, two, the left high kick behind it. Nice right knee. Good counter knees as well from Harry Smith. Just about to say that maybe Harry Smith is struggling this round, but come back ferociously. Really being hands heavy in this round. Oh, the big knee did some damage. Saw the wince on the face of Isaac Watson. That knee stung him. No, oh, another knee. Watson's looking like he's in big trouble. Smith starting to open up. Harry Smith's corner calling for knees again like that. Drops him again. Beautiful. Isaac Watson spat out the mouth guard. Really looked like he's struggling to breathe. Huge round for Harry Smith. The fourth dimension MMA standout. And what was very interesting about that round, the first kind of 30 seconds or so. It was actually all Isaac Watson. Beautiful combination, switching, going high with the kicks. And then out of nowhere, Harry Smith started unloading with punching combinations and then landed a beautiful knee, which you could see do damage to Isaac Watson. Oh, looks a replay as well. Let's see if we get that knee. Oh, that's the trip earlier on. What an incredible fight to start off this evening of action here at the H-Suite in Birmingham. Very interesting. Here we go. How much has Isaac Watson recovered in the break? With corner men, I'm going to wipe him down a little bit. Sometimes this is uh, not accusing 
the Legion's team. Sometimes a bit of a strategy to get your fighter a little bit extra rest. Oh, the Legion's MMA standout coming out firing. Oh, lovely kick. I know that Smith's going to want that knee to the body again. It did so much damage earlier on. <laughs> the corner of uh, Harry Smith. Just all they could say is the word knee because he had so much success with it earlier on. Bloody the nose. They want another knee. And a knee. Dropped him with a knee. This fight finally stops. Getting a count. Spit the gum shield out. Referee's letting it continue. He's looking for the finish. Oh, it's all over. Monster performance by Harry Smith. Fourth dimension MMA. Kick off the night here. Hate Sweet Birmingham. K Star Fight Night. Incredible performance. Those knees to the body, they were dynamite. Every one of them, explosive. Perfectly placed, perfectly set up, listening to his cornermen. Throwing their hands, bringing the guard up high. And then when the space was there, landing those thunderous, thunderous knees. Incredible. What a performance. Harry Smith, you have a fan right here. He's looking very happy now. What a way to kick off the night. That's fight number one of the evening here at the K-Start fight night at the H Street in Birmingham. Coming up next, we have Raf Borkowski taking on Daniel Sakari from Sabadi Muay Thai. What a moment there. Isaac Watson getting the nod. Wow. Look at the size of those trophies. Ridiculous. Huge feather in the cap there of Harry Smith and uh, well done to Isaac Watson. He had some real moments there. He's going to watch that video back and see how well he was doing in his first couple of rounds and still be very pleased with his performance. It was not a one-sided fight, but as soon as Harry Smith figured out how to get those knees going, open up the combinations, also maybe just slightly better cardio of the two, all about those knees. Incredible. I mean, I do have the best job in the world. If anyone is watching at home, you're thinking, that commentator, he's got the best seat in the house. Look at that camera angle. It's the view he's got. I have the best view in the world. It is pretty epic. <laughs> 